Okay, Dan Decker could read one of my philosophy papers out loud and the masses would like it too, okay? That's, that's just Dan Decker. He is the coolest. <laughs> so I was thinking for our Save the Concert video, we could be British orphans begging for jazz. Or maybe something rad like Dan pretending to be an orphan begging for jazz. Okay, Dan's not in jazz band. Yeah, and I don't really see myself as the face of smooth jazz. Are you saying it's dorky? No, no, just, well yeah, but, but you guys can probably make it cool, so. so who else, who else, who else? Uh, Dan, Dan, what's your talent? I mean, I could throw food up in there and catch it in my mouth. Really? Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, whoa, that was awesome. He caught popcorn in his mouth. All right, well, Dan Decker's in the lead. I noticed you weren't entangled in any of the love triangles. You prefer to stay above the fray. I don't mess with this kid stuff. I'm looking for a real woman. Oh, What do you guys like to do with your parents around here? You know, the Toledo Wildlife hockey games are fun. My family has season tickets, and I'm taking my little brother Jeffy tomorrow night. My man. Dan, that's perfect. I'm pregnant. The doctor said it's your baby. He had your sperm on file. I mean, I'd help raise it, but... I'm dead. <sighs> wow. If you're so embarrassed to teach this class, Miles is probably the last person you want to get in that picture. He won't if you give the bio textbooks back. Like you said, give them what they want. <sighs> One chapter of my choosing from the middle of the book. All right, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Why don't you pick on Dan? All he did was eat popcorn. OK, Marcus, I can catch harder stuff, too. I catch ham, and I'm not talking about the deli slices. I'm talking about that thick Easter cuts. That is cool. Most of your students are part of Ms. Duncan's Young Entrepreneurs Club. <laughs> yeah, bet everybody except Dan Decker are part of that nerdy ass club. <laughs> Actually, I'm in that club too, Mr. G. Oh no, what are you guys doing to him? You are ruining him. Well, it's a great club. I doubt it. Oh, okay, an orange slice. That's that sweet tangy pop right there. Nice dog. You got it, stud. Let me lay this on you. Just like this sweet, tasty, delicious pop, pop's concerts are essential because they keep you refreshed and smiling. They're cool and not dorky at all. Ain't that right, mama? You know it, daddy. I'm dead. Mm. I've been meaning to tell you. I'm dead too. I told you. Oh, you did. Now take me to heaven before we both get dragged to hell. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> That's the table from shop class. Let's hear it for Caleb's play. That was uh, very inappropriate, but I think we have a winner. All right, new rule. I don't want any of you ever to refer to yourselves as bad girls or boys. But what if I've been a very bad boy? Dan, do you see? Do you see? Yeah. Yeah. If they come for you, boss, I'll take the fall. I thought I'd be the first in my family to go to college, but instead I'll be the 19th in my family to go to jail. Okay, no, Heather, you can't do that. Look, I'll confess to it all. I'll take the fall for you. Dan, no. You're a good friend. I can't let you go down for this. I'll take the fall. Somebody gonna... Well, that daisy chain lost momentum quickly.